Hi everyone, Tim here from vMix and today we're going to continue our series called Getting Started with vMix. Now, a lot of people ask us this question and it's what sort of computer and equipment do I need to run vMix? Well, the best answer is always going to be check out vMix.com. As technology changes, we're able to update our website with the basic system requirements and the recommended system requirements for different video productions. If you've just downloaded and installed the trial, I would definitely recommend just using your existing computer or laptop to see what vMix is capable of on it and to get a feel for the program as well. So if you're doing a basic production, you could probably get away with using a mid-level chip and the integrated graphics on it. However, if you want to do a multicam HD production with recording and streaming, you'll need to use a, a better chip and have a dedicated graphics card. vMix is powerful, reliable and efficient because it uses the graphics on your computer to do a lot of the encoding and processing, which frees up your CPU. So having the dedicated graphics card on your computer allows vMix to do a lot with it. So if you're looking to build and buy a PC, if you've got one already, having a gaming PC is really good because it does have that dedicated graphics card on it and can typically handle um, doing awesome video productions in vMix. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at our website now to go through the system um, requirements and we're also going to go through some reference systems that we have on our website. So we're going to have a look at that now. Okay, so this is the vMix website as of 2017. As you can see, we've got vMix 19, but vMix 20 is probably out soon, and then vMix 21, 22, etc. So this is what we've currently got. Now, what you want to do is go to the software section and then go to supported hardware. Now, this will show you the system requirements, so the minimum, and then the recommended system requirements for your uh, vMix PC. So down the bottom, you'll see graphics cards, so it, the website will also list the different graphics that you should be using depending on what you're trying to do uh, in the production. So that'll include the integrated right up to dedicated graphics cards. So on this page you'll also be able to see the reference systems. So if we click on that, you can also access it from the front page as well. So you see vMix reference system. So if we click on that, so on the reference systems page you'll be able to see different system builds that you can use with vMix. So we give you specific build guides. So you could give this to one of our resellers, you could give this to a computer builder, or you could purchase the parts yourself and build your own computer if you have the know-how. So that will include all the parts here, um, motherboard, CPU, RAM, graphics, all that kind of stuff is listed on each page. So we have uh, three different versions and it will tell you what you're capable of with each version in regards to recording, streaming, NDI and that type of thing. So we have a basic system and then we have a higher end system uh, which this one includes uh, the ability to do eight cameras with four camera instant replay as well. So that again includes in this build guide all the information that you need in order to pull that off. Now on the end we have a laptop system. So a lot of people like to do portable production with vMix um, and that will allow you to use an external capture device and bring that into the laptop. So these laptops here, um, they do change a lot. So we do typically have a recommendation down the bottom here where we'll say it needs to have this kind of chip and this type of dedicated graphics on it. Now, as I mentioned, we have the full part list there so you can build it yourself, um, have someone build it for you at a computer shop or you can have one of our resellers build it for you. So we have resellers that will build you these exact specifications or if you've got something else in mind um, that don't, doesn't quite fit these uh, recommended reference systems, uh, then you can get them to build that for you as well. If you have any questions about a specific build, feel free to send us through an email and say, hey, I'm trying to do this many cameras and this type of thing. Can you please tell me whether this computer will handle it or what sort of graphics card do I need and that type of thing when you're doing it. Now we're going to go back to our supported hardware page and go to our video capture hardware. Now alongside having a computer, you are also going to typically need a capture device. So a capture device is something that allows you to bring in an SDI or a HDMI video feed into your computer. So on this page we have a list of all the manufacturers and all the cards that we support. And these include PCI Express cards and external cards for Thunderbolt, or for USB 3.0, but we have a full list here. We also have some in-depth videos talking about whether internal or external cards are going to be best for your situation, and they'll be linked in the description below. We also have controllers as well, so if you've watched any of our other videos, you'll see us using shortcuts with different devices, and the ones that we've tested out directly um, will be on this page here. However, any MIDI device will work with vMix. If you're not quite sure before purchasing, always send us through an email just to double check. So thanks for joining us today. Um, like I said before, 
Install vMix to your existing computer or laptop, try it out, have a look at the CPU usage and see how it's handling it. Um, and then if you have any questions about purchasing computers or parts, feel free to send us an email via the website. We also try out different builds all the time. So if you watch our monthly live shows, you'll see us talking about new builds and new chips, new graphics cards that are coming out. So feel free to subscribe to our channel and that way you can keep up to date with all the live video news. So thanks for watching. In the description below will be a bunch of different videos talking about um, capture devices and that sort of thing if you want to check out and different equipment that you can use with vMix. So feel free to check out those videos. So thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check the description to view any of the information and links that we've listed in this video. If you'd like to watch another video in this tutorial series, click one of the videos above.